This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Karen Fnuccio. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? It was, it, actually, I just got back from the hospital. I had emergency today. I had to take my mother to the hospital. Oh, my. How is she doing? Um, okay. She's in their care right now. Hopefully, she, by tomorrow, she'll be much better. Okay, I do hope so as well. Sorry to hear that. And I'm glad that you still connected with me. I appreciate that. I'm honored, actually. Thank you. Okay. You're hmm. welcome. Well, do tell us, Karen, which of, well, first of all, tell us what part of the world you're in. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, I said that. Wow. I just spoke to someone in New Jersey. I heard the accent. I was, how long have you been in New Jersey? Let me see if I'm just guessing. Okay, so I was born in New Jersey and raised. However, I traveled the world because I was a military wife, and now I'm back in Jersey. That's super cool. Ooh, I guessed her, right, didn't I? Whoop, whoop. So yes, and I've been to Trinidad. I've been to Trinidad and Tobago, though. Oh, really? Now, if you've been, if you've been here, you would have called Tobago, not Tobago. Are you sure you were here? Oh, Tobago. I was there. Okay. I was there. Yeah. All right. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was lovely. Yes, I did. Wonderful. Well, do tell me, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history, Karen? My social media skills. Ooh. Who did you learn that from? And my my skill for um, connecting people and connecting with people, and I got it from years and years of traveling the world. So tell me about your travels. Like, it seems as though you've been to, what, 70 countries, I'm guessing? Oh, that's a little much, but I've lived all around the world. I've lived in Hawaii. I've lived in Germany. I've been to Austria, France, England. Almost all of the United States, I can't right now off the top of my head remember which ones I didn't go to, but I've been to almost all of them. Mexico, um, never been to Asia yet, though. Okay, has yet. So how has it broadened your perspective? I'm sorry, say it again? Sure, how has it broadened your perspective traveling? Because everybody's viewpoint and every place you live is so different and it's so interesting if you're a people person like I am you love to speak to people you love to find out about them what they're doing how they're doing it what their opinions are um, I was in Ireland last year and I think I just had the most amazing time with the warmest people in the world hmm, that's amazing what about the food part of the, the conversations uh, the food part, I'm not a big foodie. Okay. I'm kind, I came from the bodybuilding industry, so I came from the sports nutrition industry, so I'm, I have a pretty stringent diet, but um, I'm not a big foodie, to be honest with you. If it's ice cream, I love it. <laughs> so who did you get this adventurous uh, spirit from, if you would? My father, for sure. Hmm. My father said, from the time I was born, you can do anything you want to do. You just have to do it. Why will you continue to be that person? Definitely there are the challenges that go with choosing to be adventurous. But why will you continue to be that person? Because I love to broaden my horizons. I love to be challenged. I like to be on the other edge of fear where you're just not sure if you should or should not do it, but you take the leap. Every time you take a step forward, you have the possibility of taking two steps back. But it doesn't matter because you always advance inch by inch by inch. Love it. You know your voice doesn't sound like that, right? You sound very calm and no, I'm not sure if I'm going all over the world uh, in your voice, which is you pretty intriguing. That. You're the gentle giant. Just, yeah. People tell me all the time that um, my voice is very calming, very soothing. And I just think it's just my, I'm a very easygoing person. Hmm. That's super cool. Well, do tell me one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Over the last three years, I've been very, very focused on my, my show, The One Tough Mother Show, helping women around the world find their voice and make them realize that they can do anything they want to do in this world. They just have to do it. Tell us a bit more about the show, please. 
So the show is amazing. I have amazing, powerful women from all over the world. I've had Oprah's mentor. I've had the first female astronaut. I've had um, some of the most amazing women ever, the first fighter pilot, come on and talk about how they got to where they were and what they went through to do it. When you look at what you've accomplished from the time you started to now, how does it make you feel? I'm extremely grateful. Extremely grateful for everyone that's helped me, who's put out a hand and pulled me along, who showed me things I didn't know how to do or taught me how to do things I didn't know do, and to support me. I get the most amazing support from some of the most amazing people in the world. So just to someone that's listening, that person who may be considering, you know, to be one tough mother, why does she do what you've done? Well, if, if every one of us are tough mothers, whether we're a mother, M-O-T-H-E-R, or a mother from New Jersey, we're all tough mothers in the fact that we have to remember, we have a voice, we have a personality, we have an opinion, and we have a right to use them. You people can only treat you the way that, that you allow them to treat you and speak to you them to speak to you the way that you allow them to speak to you. So you have to be conscious of your own confidence in your own personality. Once you take control of that and once you understand that, everything will open up for you. Lovely. Amazing audience. Again, you're hearing it live from Karen Finuccio. Karen, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Karen, what's your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory was when I got a doll that I really wanted for Christmas, but I knew that we probably, probably wouldn't get it because Santa wasn't going to have anything that expensive come, and I got it anyway. How old were you in this memory? I think I was four. Why do you think this memory is so clear? Because I showed it to my father, and I remember my father saying, that's so expensive, I don't think Santa can bring that. And I thought to myself, oh yes, that's not right to ask for something that big. And I was just so happy to get it. Hmm. How do you see that memory? connecting to who you are today when we look at the possibility that occurred. Because there's possibility in everything. Sometimes you just have to ask for help. Sometimes you have to ask for what you want. People can't read your mind. If you're not going to put yourself out there, you're not going to get what you need. Love it. Well, my friend, I think you hit the nail on the head. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Oh, Sweet Baby James by James Taylor. Love it. All right, all right. I'm dancing. There we go. Okay, come back, Angel. I'm back. Karen, <laughs> we arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes. Karen, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? My granddaughters. Are you married? I am divorced. Do you have children? I have four children and seven grandchildren. Wow, congratulations. Wow. I can't wait to say that. I hope my children give me that many grandchildren. Grandchildren are great, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of my children. They're all very successful and wonderful people. Successful in their careers and successful in their personalities. And then my grandchildren are just amazing, amazing little people who are going to grow up and just really rock this world and change things. Love it. Do you believe in God? I absolutely do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I absolutely do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Never. I haven't watched TV in over 20 years. Wow. What about screen time? The phone and the computer. Is it more than Uh, eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, much less than eight, much less. If you, Karen, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Karen Finuccio, I love the last name. What would you say that is? Tough. Hmm. One tough mother, yeah? Yeah, that's it. I love when you said mother in the New Jersey way. Yeah. Mother. Oh, dear. Yes, like your mouth is full, right? Yeah, like mother, mother. Love it, Karen. This has been such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I'd like to say thank you. I'm very grateful to have you 
ask me to be on your show. I'm grateful for anyone listening. And remember, you are everything. It's all within you. You just have to put it out there. Karen Canucci, again, great pleasure. Thanks again for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you very much, Angel. You're welcome. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise. Thank you.